It was a chaotic first day of the Republican National Convention. Protesters both inside and outside the convention chanting never Trump. Joining me now with a preview of what we can expect tomorrow is the newest member of the 13 Action News team, political analyst and expert John Ralston. And John, it was a very busy first day, a lot of fireworks. Yeah, there were fireworks earlier in the day, you know, when they, you showed that there, the Never Trump movement tried to get a roll call vote on the rules. They wanted to do that because they want to change the rules because they don't want Donald Trump. They want somebody else, a white knight, to come in. But they couldn't get enough. You need seven state delegations. They couldn't get that on, so that failed. There were a lot of upset people. The Colorado delegation went out for a while. And then you had all this controversy later in the day, as you and I talked about earlier. That they had a few, you know, B, C, maybe D-list celebrities speak. Antonio Sabato Jr., Scott Baio. People remember him from Happy Days right. or Charles in Charge. Not exactly A-listers. But then Melania Trump gave what many people thought was a very graceful speech about her husband. Not that personal, but she delivered it very well. Now we find out uh, that part of it was plagiarism from a Michelle Obama speech. Think about that. Think yeah, about what Republicans are going to think. The, pe the, the, the people they hate the most, the Obamas, and they stole it from, from, from that speech. They're really going to have to do damage control or it's going to cast a shadow over tomorrow. It'll be very interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, plenty of Clinton bashing tonight, though, again. And uh, what's ahead, though, for this week? We'll see, obviously, more of that. You'll see a lot more of that, including culminating with Donald Trump's speech uh, on Thursday night, accepting the nomination. Uh, tomorrow's theme is Make America Work uh, uh, again, uh, tonight's was Make America Safe Again. What's interesting is we have a Nevadan speaking tomorrow night, Dana White, right. the president of uh, UFC. UFC, of course, just uh, sold for $4 billion. Maybe he's bringing some of that to help uh, yeah. the Trump campaign. But he, he can be a very fiery, blunt speaker, not unlike Donald Trump. So I think that'll be interesting. You also have a lot more seasoned po political speakers, uh, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, House Speaker uh, uh, Paul Ryan is speaking as well. Both of them have been very lukewarm so far in the support of Trump. It'll be interesting to see what they have to say. And we'll have you here again tomorrow night for our 10 o'clock special. I have a cot now in the yeah. back. I'll <laughs> right. be here. Yeah, rest easy. All okay. right.